The Proto-Austroasiatic language is the reconstructed ancestor of the Austroasiatic languages. Proto-Mon Khmer, i.e., all Austroasiatic branches except for Munda, has been reconstructed in Harry L. Shorto's Mon Khmer Comparative Dictionary, while a new Proto-Austroasiatic reconstruction is currently being undertaken by Paul Sidwell. Paul Sidwell 2009, suggests that the likely homeland of Austroasiatic is in the Mekong River region, and that the family is not as old as frequently assumed, dating to perhaps 2000 BCE. Peros 2011, criticized Sidwell's theory heavily and calls it a bunch of contradictions. He show with his analysis that the homeland of Austroasiatic is somewhere near the Yangtze. He suggests the Sichuan Basin is likely homeland of Proto-Austroasiatic before they migrated to other parts of central and southern China and then into Southeast Asia. He further suggests that the family must be as old as Proto-Austronesian and Proto-Sino-Tibetan or even older. A genetic and linguistic research in 2015 about ancient people in East Asia suggests an origin and homeland of Austroasiatic in today's southern China or even further north. Phonology Shorto, 2006, the Proto-Mon Khmer language is the reconstructed ancestor of the Mon Khmer languages, a purported primary branch of the Austroasiatic language family. However, Mon Khmer as a taxon has been abandoned in recent classifications, making Proto-Mon Khmer synonymous with Proto-Austroasiatic. The Munda languages, which are not well documented, and have been restructured through external language contact, have not been included in the reconstructions. Proto-Mon Khmer is reconstructed by Harry L. Shorto, 2006, has a total of 21 consonants, 7 distinct vowels, which can be lengthened and glottalized, and 3 diphthongs. Proto-Mon Khmer is rich in vowels. The vowels are, asterisk a, asterisk a, asterisk e, asterisk e, asterisk, asterisk, asterisk i, asterisk i, asterisk e, asterisk e, asterisk o, asterisk u, asterisk, asterisk, asterisk u, asterisk u, u, asterisk u diphthongs are, asterisk i, asterisk u, asterisk i Sidwell and Rao 2015, Paul Sidwell and Felix Rao 2015, proposed the following syllable structure for Proto-Austroasiatic. Asterisk C, C M, B C falso possible or more complex forms with prefixes and infixes, as well as presyllable coda copying from main syllables. Asterisk C P N R L C V C F Sidwell and Rao 2015 reconstruct 21 to 22 Proto-Austroasiatic consonants. The reconstruction of asterisk is uncertain. All of the Proto-Austroasiatic consonants, except for implosives and voiced stops, can occur as syllable finals. C F. All of the Proto-Austroasiatic unvoiced stops and voiced stops, as well as asterisk M, asterisk N, asterisk R, asterisk L, and asterisk S, can occur as presyllables or sesquisyllables, CP. Medial consonants, CM, are asterisk W, asterisk R, asterisk L, asterisk J, and asterisk H. Sidwell and Rao 2015, reconstructs eight Proto-Austroasiatic vowels, for which there is vowel length contrast. A long vowel will be appended with triangular colon, instead of doubling. Proto-Austroasiatic diphthongs are asterisk i and asterisk u, and possibly asterisk ie and asterisk uo. Morphology common structures include asterisk cv, c, and asterisk ccv, c, roots. Asterisk CVC roots can also be affixed either via prefixes or infixes, as in asterisk ccvc or asterisk ccvc, short o 2006. Sidwell, 2008, gives the following phonological shapes for two types of stems. Monosyllabic, C, R, B, B, C sesquisyllabic, C, C, V, V, C note, R is one of the optional medial consonants, R, L, J, W, H. Sidwell, 2008, considers the two most morphologically conservative Mon Khmer branches to be Kamuk and Oslian. On the other hand, Vietnamese morphology is far more similar to that of Chinese and the Thai languages and has lost many morphological features found in Proto-Mon Khmer. The following Proto-Mon Khmer affixes, which are still tentative, have been reconstructed by Paul Sidwell, Sidwell 2008-257-263. 
Nominalizing asterisk n, instrumental in Camus, resultative in KHMU, nominalizing agentive asterisk m, nominalizing iterative, expressive of repetitiveness, numerousness, asterisk l, asterisk r, nominalizing instrumental asterisk p, causative asterisk p, v, allomorphs, p, p, n, m, reciprocal asterisk tr, asterisk t, n, state of asterisk h, asterisk h, n. Roger Blench, 2012, notes that Austroasiatic and Sino Tibetan share many similarities regarding regarding word structure, particularly nominal affixes, otherwise known as sesquisyllables or minor syllable prefixes. Blench 2012 does not make any definitive conclusions about how these similarities could have arisen, but suggests that this typological diffusion might have come about as a result of intensive contact in an area between northern Vietnam, Laos, and northeast Myanmar. Syntax like the Thai languages, Proto-Mon Khmer has an SVO, or verb medial, order. Proto-Mon Khmer also makes use of noun classifiers and serial verb constructions short of 2006. However, Paul Sidwell 2018, suggests that Proto-Austroasiatic may have in fact been verb initial, with SVO order occurring in Indochina due to convergence in the mainland Southeast Asia linguistic area. Various modern-day Austroasiatic languages display verb initial word order, including PNAR and WA Jenny 2015. Nicobarese also displays verb initial word order. Lexicon pronouns Proto-Austroasiatic personal pronouns as follows, with reconstructions from Sidwell and Rao 2015. Reconstructed vocabulary The following Proto-Austroasiatic lexical proto-forms have been reconstructed by Sidwell and Rao 2015-340-363, and correspond to the 100-item Swadesh list. Branch reconstructions Austroasiatic branch level reconstructions include Proto Munda, Sidwell and Rao 2015, List Proto Kazakh, Paul Sidwell 2012, List Proto Palangic, Paul Sidwell 2010, List Proto Kamuk, Paul Sidwell 2013, List Proto Pekanic, Andrew Shu 2016, List Proto Vietic, Michel Furlis 2007, Proto Katuic, Paul Sidwell 2005, List Proto Bonaric, Paul Sidwell 2011, List Proto Kameric, Sidwell and Rao 2015, based on Furless 1992, List Proto Peric, Sidwell and Rao 2015, Robert Headley 1985, List Proto Monic, Gerard Diflock 1984, List Proto Oslian, Timothy Phillips 2012, List Proto Nicobarese, Paul Sidwell 2017, List Origin and Dispersal Paul Sidwell 2018, considers the Austroasiatic language family to have rapidly diversified around 4,000 years BP during the arrival of rice agriculture in Indochina. China, but notes that the origin of Proto-Austroasiatic itself is older than that date. The lexicon of Proto-Austroasiatic can be divided into an early and late stratum. The early stratum consists of basic lexicon including body parts, animal names, natural features, and pronouns, while the names of cultural items, agriculture terms and words for cultural artifacts, which are reconstructable in Proto-Austroasiatic, form part of the later stratum. Integrating computational phylogenetic linguistics with recent archaeological findings, Paul Sidwell 2015 further expanded his Mekong Riverine hypothesis by proposing that Austroasiatic had ultimately expanded into Indochina from the Lingnan area of southern China, with the subsequent Mekong Riverine dispersal taking place after the initial arrival of Neolithic farmers from southern China. Sidwell 2015, tentatively suggests that Austroasiatic may have begun to split up 5,000 years BP during the Neolithic transition era of mainland Southeast Asia, with all the major branches of Austroasiatic formed by 4,000 BP. Austroasiatic would have had two possible dispersal routes from the western periphery of the Pearl River watershed of Lingnan, which would have been either a coastal route down the coast of Vietnam, or downstream through the Mekong River via Yunnan. Both the reconstructed lexicon of Proto-Austroasiatic and the archaeological record clearly show that early Austroasiatic speakers around 4000 BP cultivated rice and millet, kept livestock such dogs, pigs, and chickens, and thrived mostly in estuarine rather than coastal environments. At 4500 BP, this Neolithic package suddenly arrived in Indochina from the Lingnan area without cereal grains and displaced the earlier pre-Neolithic hunter-gatherer cultures, with grain husks found in northern Indochina by 4100 BP and in southern Indochina by 3800 BP. 
However, Sidwell 2015 found that iron is not reconstructable in Proto-Austroasiatic, since each Austroasiatic branch has different terms for iron that had been borrowed relatively lately from Thai, Chinese, Tibetan, Malay, and other languages. During the Iron Age about 2500 BP, relatively young Austroasiatic branches in Indochina such as Vietic, Katuic, Peric, and Khmer were formed, while the more internally diverse Bonaric branch dating to about 3000 BP underwent more extensive internal diversification. By the Iron Age, all of the Austroasiatic branches were more or less in their present-day locations, with most of the diversification within Austroasiatic taking place during the Iron Age. Roger Blench 2017 suggests that vocabulary related to aquatic subsistence strategies, such as boats, waterways, river fauna, and fish capture techniques, can be reconstructed for Proto-Austroasiatic. Blench 2017 finds widespread Austroasiatic roots for river, valley. Boat. Fish. Catfish sp. Eel. Prawn. Shrimp. Central Austroasiatic. Crab. Tortoise. Turtle. Otter. Crocodile. Heron, fishing bird. And. Fish trap. Archaeological evidence for the presence of agriculture in northern Indochina, northern Vietnam, Laos, and other nearby areas dates back to only about 4,000 years BP 2000 BC, with agriculture ultimately being introduced from further up to the north in the Yangtze Valley where it has been dated to 6,000 BP. Hence, this points to a relatively late riverine dispersal of Austroasiatic as compared to Sino-Tibetan, whose speakers had a distinct non-riverine culture. In addition to living an aquatic-based lifestyle, early Austroasiatic speakers would have also had access to livestock, crops, and newer types of watercraft. As early Austroasiatic speakers dispersed rapidly via waterways, they would have encountered speakers of older language families who were already settled in the area, such as Sino-Tibetan. References Shorto, Harry L. Sidwell, Paul, Doug Cooper and Christian Bauer, eds. 2006. Amon Khmer Comparative Dictionary. Canberra, Australian National University. Pacific Linguistics. ISBN 0-85883-570-3. Sidwell, Paul, 2008. Issues in the Morphological Reconstruction of Proto-Mon Khmer. In Bauer and Clare, et al., eds. Morphology and Language History, in honor of Harold Koch. Philadelphia, John Benjamins. Mon-Khmer.com, Lectures by Paul Sidwell. External links Mon-Khmer Languages at Sealing Mon-Khmer.com, Lectures by Paul Sidwell Mon-Khmer Languages at Ethnologue Classifications of Mon-Khmer languages